tiny adventure. Tigerbot, you'll feel much better when you're clean. I know you're scared of water, but it won't hurt you. <laughs> this could take a while. Oh, I remember when you were scared of baths, Rusty. Mom! <laughs> I'm just saying I've seen this before. I can help. Look, Tigerbot, the water's nice. Come try it. Whoops, my ring almost slipped off. See? Not bad, right? <laughs> that mud will come right off. Watch. <laughs> my ring! Oh, no. Oh! My favorite ring. <laughs> Tigerbot, open the drain! <laughs> it's going down the pipes underground! It's gone. Oh, my grandma gave me that ring. Oh, Tigerbot, don't feel so bad. It was an accident. Don't worry, Mom. We can figure out a way to get it back. Thanks, sweetie. But I'm not sure how. Unless you can shrink yourself and go down into the drain. <laughs> we, we can! can. <laughs> we have our own shrink ray. You made a shrink ray? I'm so proud of you! <laughs> sure. <laughs> you can help too, Tigerbot. My tablet doesn't work underground. It can't get a signal down there. So we need you guys to track us from up here. And you also need to shrink us and the mobile rivet lab so we can drive through the pipes. This is so fun! Okay, we are on it! <laughs> okay, kids, it's tiny time! Something most mothers don't say. Thank you. 
Ooh, this is exciting. You're so close to the ring. Matt. Was that you? <laughs> Matt. Matt. Oh. Hello. <laughs> the ring is right below you, kids, and Tigerbot and I are right above you. Matt. Matt. With some penguins. Thanks, Mom. Why does she have penguins with her? It beats me. Let's get that ring. <gasps> there it is! We're lucky the train is clogged. Otherwise, the ring would have gotten away. to the ring for a while. Everything all right? It's stuck in a clog, Miss Rivets. We're not strong enough to pull it out. Oh, no. My favorite ring. We're working on it, Mom. This ring is really stuck in the clog, Ruby. If only we had something strong enough to pull it out. <gasps> Are you sure, girl? There's a lot of water down there. Ah! Tiger Bob wants to help you. Awesome! She's super strong! And she has long claws, which we can make even longer. And I can shrink you. Time to go down the drain. Let's combine it and design it. We'll start with Tiger Bot. Then give her scuba gear so she can go deep underwater. And finally, bigger claws so she can unclog the drain and pull out the ring. Put it all together and we've got our plan. Super Claws! 
they got the ring! Mom! My big boy is big again. I'm so glad you're back and safe. And your ring is back and safe, too. I can't thank you enough. And thank you, Tigerbot. Tigerbot? <laughs> Needs another bath. <laughs> Rusty's warm winter games. I can't believe the big day is finally here. Me neither. It's time for the Sparkton Hills Junior Winter Games. I've been practicing all year. I think this is the year I finally win gold. I think you can do it. Thanks, Ruby. Rusty will never win the Winter Games, thanks to my new invention, the No Snow Ray. Sweet! All right, everyone. Time for the first event. Cross-country skiing! First one over the finish line is the winner! Take your lanes! Rusty and Ruby can't win if there's no snow in their lanes! Oh, it's fixing out! Oh! <gasps> Great Caesar salad! Oops, that worked too well. What happened to the snow? I don't know, but we can't have the Junior Winter Games without winter. We have to call them off. What? But then I can't win either. Unless we have the Warm Winter Games. No snow or ice required. Just some wheels. Let's make something great. The Warm Winter Games! Skis. On your mark, get set, roll! Coming through! Oh, Rusty's winning! But not for long. I know a shortcut. for the next event. Speed skating! To the pond, everyone! Oh, no! The ice is all melted! What now? No problem. Rusty and I just need everyone's skates so we can turn them into hover boots. That? Don't worry, it just takes practice. Yes, practice. Or cheating. I know how to win, Frankfurt, but I need your help. Welcome to the delightful hover skating race. Three times around the pond, then the first to the finish line wins. On your marks, get set. Go! Hello! Oh. Rusty 
he's in the lead on the final lap. surprised me. It looked like a... a skunk shark. <laughs> I won! I won! Oh, yeah! Nice hovering, Frankie. Thank you. <laughs> Rusty and Frankie have each won an event, which means whoever wins the last event wins the entire games. And the final event of the Sparkton Hills Warm Winter Games is... The Snowboard Jump! Now we can do a snowboard jump with no snow! Very clever, Rusty! Oh. Meh! I know how to win this event! With rocket power! <laughs> to be the Warm Winter Games champion, I have to win this event! All right, Frankie, who wants to go first? Frankie? Over here! I'm going to make the biggest jump in the world! Frankie's at the summit. A jump from there would be the most incredible feat in the history of Sparkton Hills. He'd win for sure. Wow. It's looking a bit dangerous, don't you think? Oh, boy. I kind of forgot! I'm scared of heights! Wait a minute! You just don't want me to win! But it won't work! Engage rocket power! This is easy, Frank! to carry us and Frankie back down again. What can go on a mountain is super fast and can twist and turn. That's it! A bobsled! Let's combine it and design it. We'll start with a bobsled frame. Then add special jets so it can hover over the rocky, twisty ground. And to get up the mountain fast, supercharged rocket boosters. Put it all together, and we've got our plan.
perfect time to grab him is coming in three, two, now! The winner of the very first warm winter games! Hang on! I was in the bobsled too, so it's a tie. Frankie. Huh, <sighs> fine. I think we should do the warm winter games every year. <laughs> Who needs snow? Oh, but snow's good too. Hooray for snow! <laughs> Adventures in Blobo Sitting. What's that sound? Greetings, Rusty and Ruby of Earth. It is very nice to make your friendship once again. It's great to see you again too, Shaz. But on Earth, we still don't say hi by putting shoes on our head. Oh, I forgot. Aww. Who's your friend, Shaz? This is my pet blob. I named him Blobbo. You're a cute little blob. Yes, you are. <laughs> So, why are you back on Earth, Shaz? Are you looking for more Earth music? <laughs> that means no. This time I've traveled across the universe on a very important mission. It's two for one day at Sammy Scoop's Ice Cream Shop, the best deal in the universe. I was hoping you could watch Blobbo for me while I obtain the precious Froyo. Sure thing. What do we need to do? <laughs> There are only two Blobbo sitting rules. First, never let Blobbo out of his pet carrier. Second, never let Blobbo eat anything. That would be bad. But feel free to look at him all you want and go, me, 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 me. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, Rusty and Ruby of Earth. Goodbye, Blobbo. Okay, guys, remember the rules. Never let Blobbo out of his pet carrier. And never let him eat anything. <laughs> oh no, Blobbo got out of his pet carrier. Oh no, Blobo ate something! <laughs> Don't worry, Bodasaur, we'll get him back. Uh -oh. <laughs> Don't feel bad, Bodasaur. 
we'll get Blobbo back. We just need a better way to catch him. I know just the thing. Our vacuum car. We can use the vacuum hose to suck up Blobbo without hurting him. Great Caesar salad! Ah! Time to go home, Blobbo! You go. Hope your family enjoys the tutti frutti. Why, thank you. La 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 away from you. Blobbo does not like cold. Cold things will make him small again. Luckily, he only eats yellow things. It is his favorite color. How big can Blobbo get? According to my calculations, there is good news. Blobbo cannot get much bigger than... <coughs> the entire town. Mm, perhaps this is not good news at all. Where did Blobbo go? We need to find him and shrink him before he grows large enough to absorb your town. Hmm. Blobbo doesn't like the cold, so maybe an ice ray would do the trick. Affirmative. That would stop Blobbo and shrink him to his normal size. But the ice ray would need to be bigger than an 11 legged bork bork to work. I think that means we need a giant ice ray and something big enough to carry it. Not something, someone. I know who can do it. Botasaur, we need you. <laughs> we haven't caught Blobbo yet, buddy. But I think you can help us. <laughs> Let's combine it and design it. Botasaur because he's big and strong. Then we'll give him a Froyo powered ice ray to cool off Blobbo. And treads so he won't slip on the ice. Put it all together and we've got our plan. Time to go mobile. <laughs> Stop 
him before he gets to those empty yellow school buses. Who knows how big those will make him? Okay, Vodasaur, time for Blobo to chill out. It's working, but we need to cover all of Blobo. Wait, if Bonasaur goes super fast at full power, Blobo won't have time to break the ice. Okay, Blobstopper, it's turbo time. <laughs> the cold's making Blobo shrink, just like Sha said it would. Are you okay, Blobo? <laughs> He's okay. Thank you again, Rusty, Ruby, and Botasaur of Earth. That means I'm very, very happy. I hope your family enjoys the Froyo, Shaz. They shall surely blork their creme locks when they see all the flavors I brought them. Let's crank an awesome Earth jam, Blobo, to get into the flying groove. <laughs> Monster truck. And that should do it. This new trailer's perfect for moving my big animals around when they need doctor visits. It'll give them a smooth ride, thanks to its monster wheels. <laughs> I think the penguins want to play. Let's get some toys. Do some tricks, monkeys. Wow me. <sighs> You call that entertainment? <laughs> Maybe the penguins will be more fun. <laughs> I'm leaving. I don't know anyone that's fun. There you go. <laughs> Aw, thanks, Frankfurt. I really do love taking care of animals. <laughs> you can say that again. Wow, you understand everything Frankfurt says. Oh, I understand all animals, even robotic ones. <laughs> oh, the penguins want to play monkey in the middle. <laughs> want to help me feed the elephants? <laughs> yeah. Awesome.
way, Sammy. We'll be back. In the meantime, talk to the elephants. I'm sure they'll love you. gave them. They love that! Oh, but it's way back at the animal park. Time to get some bits on the fix. Whirly, we need you to get the penguin's ball from the animal park. Park. You're doing it, Botterilla. <gasps> what? Ooh, monkey slobber. <laughs> Is that a giant robotic gorilla leading a monkey conga line, Frankfurt? Frankfurt? Wait, did I leave him at the animal park? Frankfurt! <laughs> Thanks, Botterilla. The monkeys and penguins are back and safe. <laughs> because he likes the elephants better than me. Looks like I'm not wanted anymore. They love you, Frankfurt. You're speaking their language. like Anna's trailer so we can go anywhere. You really want to help Frankfurt? He says yes. Then let's combine it and design it. We'll start with Frankfurt. Then we'll add monster truck wheels so we can bounce right over obstacles. and monster rockets so we can catch up to the elephants. Put it all together and we've got our plan. Time to go mobile.
truck. You can meet us with your trailer, Anna, to help bring them back. Woohoo! Let's go round up some elephants. You ready, Frankfurt? Then let's bolt. We're here to take you home. Nice job, Frankfurt. Amazing! Oh no! The baby in the gizmo grasslands is headed for a lake! Turbo skunk speed, Frankfurt! <laughs> Frankfurt. Oh, I love this story so much. <laughs> 